Luke Ibbotson, the head of Group R&D at Vodafone. Luke, really appreciate you coming here. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, thank you. Um, for our U.S. audience, you might not be as familiar with Vodafone, uh, but uh, Luke, would you mind just telling us a little bit about the size and scale well, of Vodafone? It's incredible. Vodafone is the largest pan-European and African uh, mobile communication company. We operate in 21 markets. We operate in 43 partner markets. We have, at last count, around 300 million mobile subscribers. We also have a very large and ever-growing network of IoT devices. We connect about 160 million of those. We're one of the fastest growing fixed line operators in, in Europe as well. Um, and we've got a, uh, several million TV customers. So we're, we're a large outfit. <laughs> no, it's incredible. We, we, we couldn't hope for a better partner. No. Um, maybe uh, I'll, I'll keep things moving just with one simple question. You know, Tell us about the challenges of connecting the unconnected across your network. I'm sure it's varied across countries, but at the end of the day, why don't we have universal cellular connectivity today? As I mentioned a moment ago, we operate in a variety of markets. Some of those markets have terrain where it's, it's impractical or um, logistically impossible to provide conventional terrestrial networks. So in those areas, it would be incredible to be able to have something that would complement the terrestrial network and allow us to connect our customers wherever they happen to be. So a particular concern in the African markets, but even in well-developed markets, you will always come across places where it's not been possible to provide the right density of cell towers, and we need to use alternative methods to complement the coverage. Great, and maybe one more question before I let you get back to the party. Yeah. Um, you know, could you tell the audience a little bit how we came together to work as a company, you know, what we kind of do together today, how involved you are, obviously you're on our board, but it would be great to hear a little bit more meat on the bone. Yeah, of course, so I, I run the R&D department for, for Vodafone globally, so part of my role is to talk to you companies, um, you people that have got some fantastic ideas. Abel came in to see us. He said, I've got a way that we're going to be able to transform the way that um, satellite communication works in space by allowing normal mobile phones to be connected directly from a satellite. And of course, we've heard a few of these things before that don't often hold water. On this occasion, we went and sat with Abel. We went through the plans, through the vision, through the engineering, everything passed the test and we were we were astonished and then we started to get really excited this is about four years ago um, we went straight back to our our CTO to our CEO we made a case for investments and we've been working together as really close partners ever since I think at the moment this is the most exciting thing that's happening in our industry and I'm delighted to be here that's great